Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to review the phone app, the Complete Reference for 5e. This phone app is available on the Android phone. I don't know about the iPhone, you would have to check. It pretty much puts all of the different books available at your fingertips. So the Player's Handbook, the Monster Manual, the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Sword Coast Adventurer's um, uh, guide I believe is also included in this. So it has a general search bar which you can use or you can do a specific search so you could break it down to items and equipment. Right now it's set to all. I don't want to do a search for all. I might want to just search for armor or potions, rings, rods, scrolls, staffs, wands, weapons or wondrous items. Um, so I'm not going to do a search for that. I'm going to just do a search for all items and it pretty much gives you every single magic item available in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Okay, if we go back now, you can do a search for something else. So if you want to have a look at the races and the classes available, we can go here and search all, or we can just look at the background. So we'll do a search for all of the backgrounds, and it gives you all the different backgrounds available for uh, the Player's Handbook and any other um, other book that's been released that has that sort of information. All that information is available to you. And go back, so that's backgrounds. Or if we just want the base classes, we can just select base classes and search classes. Gives you all different classes and we can then check up and see all the details for the different classes. They're all listed here, all the information, including the charts that are available. Go back. back again. If we wanted to look at races then we just need to scroll up and do a search for races so there's a section for that as well and search and it gives us all the different races and the information on them. As you can see all the information you might require. And we go back, back again Right now I want to search for say skills, so I press skills, gives you a list of all the different skills available and then I can then just press and it tells me basically what that skill does. I can go back, back again, I can go to spells and I can do a search for spells based off one, the class, so you can break it down into the different classes if you want, or I can break it down into the different level of the spell if I want, or the skull. If I can get to the skull one, there we go. That's just, oh, so I can't actually select all skull, it just, that's it. I get all, fine. So if I want to just press now and just search spells, and that's all the spells listed, and it just press the one you want, and you can go through it and check what the details are. There is a section on each um, window for either deleting the spell, sharing it, bookmarking it, so you can bookmark stuff, or you can go here, and I can go in and I can actually edit the entry. So if there are errors or mistakes within it, I can fix them. So we'll go back. And that's the case with everything. So that means that if there are entries that have been um, put in incorrectly by the creator, you can actually fix them. I can also go to feats, do a search for all. Now you'll notice there's only two feats listed here. Uh, you actually have to, I think, pay for the upgrade to actually get all the feats listed. So there's only two feats available. And back. That's one of the drags with this particular piece of software. Monsters. Now I've found that using the monster um, search bar has been awesome. Um, it's meant that I haven't had to use uh, the different um, uh, monster manuals available. So I can go here, select my monster based off the different type, or I can go all, or I can go by challenge rating and select the challenge rating that I want for that particular monster. I press here, and it gives me pretty much everything I need. And I can then just select, it gives me a breakdown of all the information, and as I said, if there are any errors, you can fix them by just pressing the little pencil and going in there and fixing it, which is wonderful. I've been using this particular part of the app quite a lot and uh, it hasn't let me down so far. Going back, uh, I can do a search. The search bar does work, so I can put in spider and then search. 
and it will give me the great um, giant spider and the giant wolf spider and I can just go there there it is and back okay now I don't know if every single monster is in here but so far it's been pretty good uh, deities so you can get a breakdown of all the different deities if you want and it lists them and you go to the one you want it gives you a breakdown basic information quite handy and back and back and lastly here rules uh, that pretty much covers all the different rules that are available in the free PDF and the SRD and you can just select whatever you require so maybe I want um, traps and it gives me a breakdown on traps and how they work or maybe I need to look up a section on uh, combat so I want to cover it gives me the cover rules it's for half cover, three quarters cover and total cover a very nice piece of software you can unlock the character manager here I don't have it uh, I believe the cost for doing so is what is it okay so that's three dollars that'll be New Zealand for me and in America it'll be a different figure so we'll go back and the character manager itself in terms of what it does I don't honestly know all the details so you would have to check um, character manager includes uh, basically a character sheet that's really what it's all about not too much else to it okay so we'll go back I don't want that back cancel thank you okay you also have a dungeon master tool so you can click on here and basically this gives you initiative trackers random dungeon generators uh, a name generator a loot and encounter generator uh, some custom content management stuff, a notes section, and uh, it basically gets rid of all the ads if you're worried about having the ads in your um, your feature. You will have to pay, let's have a look. Uh, so that's about $3.69 New Zealand, so I'll go back. Okay, so that's pretty much the complete reference for 5e. I do highly recommend this piece of software. It is very useful. I have used it quite a lot recently and I will probably wind up using it more simply because I can actually edit stuff and everything seems to work correctly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions regarding the complete reference for 5e, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will answer those questions. Until next time, keep rolling those 20s.